What's up guys, the snowman here. Normally I stick to soccer, tennis, and basketball, but you guys seem to really find my positions explained videos to be informational, so I'm branching out a bit today and talking some hockey. It's my hockey positions explained. Today we'll go over all the basic positions in the sport of hockey, uh, where each position lines up on the rink, the specific roles and the job descriptions of these positions, uh, just all the essentials to make you a, a more informed hockey viewer or player. Now let's start off with a diagram of our rink and go over where the main positions line up. We have six players on the ice for each team at once. Those six players include a goaltender who stays back near the net and five skaters, which are all the players except goaltenders. We can then divide the skaters up into three forwards and two defensemen, the two defensemen playing just in front of the goaltender. And then of the three forwards, we have a center and two wingers. They're typically the players who are furthest up the ice. So these are the primary positions in ice hockey. Let's begin with the center, maybe the most important position on the rink. They're constantly in the thick of the action. Centers are involved with most face-offs. Face-offs being a puck drop between two opposing players to restart play. Uh, they want to win as many of those as possible. They also want to score goals through any means necessary. The center is constantly working with the two wingers to manufacture goal-scoring chances, uh, leading breakouts, completing passes, and trying to set up their fellow forwards with assists as well. They support the wingers. Centers have to be excellent passers of the puck. It requires requires a tremendous amount of stick skill and accuracy to play center. Centers are fast, lethal in the transition game from defense to attack. They also tend to track back when their team doesn't have possession and help in defense. All this means centers need elite stamina to skate back and forth all game long. And one of the best in the business is Connor McDavid, a multi-time MVP winner. McDavid excels in all areas of playing center, winning face-offs, providing for teammates, scoring goals himself. Uh, his versatility and two-way play has already made him one of the best centers in NHL history. On either side of the center, we have the right winger and the left winger. Let's talk about those wingers now. Some of the best athletes on the ice. Incendiary skating ability. They're often the quickest players out there. Wingers have pretty similar roles as the center. They take on different tasks depending on the game situation, but primarily they're trying to support the center in attack. Great wingers are players that are constantly ripping shots on frame and scoring goals. They also help make plays for their center and opposite winger, getting in crosses and helping with link-up play. And wingers have defensive duties as well. They want to block shots and intercept passes from the opponent. Starting breakaways from their own half is a key part of the wingers' game. Nikita Kucherov is one of the top wingers in the NHL today, constantly near the top of the leaderboards in terms of points, goals, and assists from year to year. Great chemistry with his teammates and a real knack for where to be in time and space top-notch passing skills Kucherov is a textbook winger next up is the defenders we have a right defenseman and a left defenseman these players are typically very strong very physical they're constantly putting their bodies on the line making hits blocking shots clearing out rebounds the main priority of the defenders is to protect their own goal from attacks by the opposing team and then get the puck back for their team uh, they don't play as high up on the ice as the forwards do because defenders want to minimize space behind for their opponents. Defensemen are constantly communicating and coordinating positions. They have to make quick decisions and clear the puck out of the danger zone. They also support the forwards in attack from time to time, controlling possession from the back and sometimes bringing the puck out of their own zone, especially during power plays. Kel McCarr of the Colorado Avalanche, one of the highest rated defensemen in the NHL, a very tough, hard-nosed defender, but also a polished attacker, already has a Norris Trophy, Conn Smythe Trophy, and Stanley Cup in the trophy cabinet. Makar shows up in the biggest moments for Colorado. Finally, we get to goaltender, the most unique position of the four and probably the most difficult to play. If you speak to folks who uh, watch and play the sport, you can sum up the goalie's role in a few words. Keep the puck out of the net. That's all they care about at the end of the day. Stopping opposing shots is the most important line in the job description. Uh, whether they use their stick, their glove, their pads, chest, face mask, it doesn't matter. Goaltenders want to fend off shots and swallow up rebounds as well, either by clearing the puck quickly or freezing it to stop an offensive rush. 
Goalies must also be able to pass the puck to their teammates and start counterattacks. They need to always be communicating with the five skaters on their team. Goalies uh, definitely tend to be natural leaders on the ice. And Andre Vasilevsky fits that mold. He's got one of the highest save percentages in the NHL right now. A flexible and quick shot stopper. Also a very resilient goalie. Vasilevsky doesn't let goals affect how he plays the next shot or approaching puck. He simply puts his helmet back on and uh, looks to survive the ensuing onslaught of would-be goal scorers. Thanks a lot for watching my hockey positions explained video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed it though, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more sports content. And I'll be back very soon with uh, more weekly videos. Thanks a lot. Cheers.